Ooh, yeah. Earlier this week, man, I got to thinking about, right, the things that I do. And when I, like, I, I'm big on my observation, right? And I don't always do this, so don't, don't get it twisted. I haven't always been this way. But um, I'm big on supporting my wife, right? And through, through every situation, good or bad, right? I don't, I don't think long when it comes to supporting her, whether it's me like washing clothes, uh, cleaning the bathroom, just doing uh, the house stuff. I mean, early on, I used to be, right? I used to be fussing about money, right? Um, complaining a lot. I, I'm telling you, patience has really grown on me, right? Really. Like, but but I would tell, and this is not no motivation, and this should be just common sense. I talk about this thing called hard work and dedication, and when I did that interview with my pastor, it only reassured what I was doing as a husband was, I was doing it right, right? I, I lead with God, it's not always perfect, um, but I'm happy, and when I'm happy, like everything else works itself out. I can say that, man. I love my wife. I support my wife. You really got to go over there. If you're not following Sonia underscore Comfort Foods on Instagram, you're missing out. And she's giving some jewels on, man, ways to season your food, meal prepping, cooking. So let's like, get this my prep for dinner while I'm away. Crock Pot will do the job. Let's see. Seasoning that. Throw it on the griddle. You got to have a whole trinity. Your onions, your celery, green peppers. I'm going to get the carrots and potatoes and I'm going to do my roast. If you need to chew this, season up your veggies. Don't forget to abuse your rosemary. Add the juice, only the juice of the garden mix. Put it all in the crock pot. Top it off. Wash your shashire and butter. So here's our roast that we did earlier today. It's been in the crock pot about five and a half hours. Thicken that. Make some gravy. Got the rice. Just gotta figure out a veggie. Sunday dinner is served. Thing, right? That's a constant, uh, for me, right? I'm not a bad eater, but the one thing I've always talked about on this podcast is I have a sugar sugar habit, right? And it's it's not like Kool Aid and all that other stuff, but it's the process part. Like every now and then, when I do indulge, sometimes I overindulge, and that's that's okay, man. I don't. I don't stress about it and dwell on it, but um, as far as like meals and whatnot and being able to like um, work out and having that nutritional balance, she supports that and has always supported that, right? So I support her, right? And I'm proud when I'm able to provide certain things for her to help her accomplish the things that she wants to accomplish um so it got me to just thinking of man about like when when the way men treat women right like you got to start treating these women like the queens they are man like um when you find you a real woman right she gonna support you through everything right um I just was talking about last episode where, man, it's the small thing for me, right? Because I can go buy my shoes. You know, I can go to the dealership and buy me a car. You no, know, I can I can hustle to get what I want. But it's the, it's the things that you don't expect, right? And I was talking about those peanuts. And then that's vice versa. I'm on a trail today, right? I know how much my wife loves to soak her fe the bird feathers man you pick one up pick one of those up for her you don't understand how far that go for her right and it, and in and, and our relationship it's the small things that has um allowed us to progress so far and i can say that now she's gonna see it she's gonna hear it you know that's why i love her man she get on my nerves sometimes and that's serious you know, I know the shit out of her sometimes, and that's all the time, right? Especially when, like, it just don't make sense, right? But um, I appreciate her, and the reason I appreciate her because she allows me to do these little things, like podcasts, like 
be a businessman, like, you know. Um, but I, I'm also making sure without complaining when she says, like, you need to be able to balance us more, right? That's why, like, I'm not, in so many words, chasing the check, but I'm, I'm, I'm creating an opportunity that provides me the, the time to be around, to be more available, right? Because you see, you see in a lot of relationships that folks value materialistic things more than they value each other, right? And, um, I, and my job that I work at, man, you, I, you see all types of women. And um, I judge them accordingly. Um, but you don't see a lot of happiness. You, you see a lot of materialistic. And then the ones that um, you see looking, that's smiling at each other, constantly laughing, those are the ones that's going to have the longevity, the ones that's going to have the most success. Yeah, me and my wife have had periods in our relationship where things just wasn't working out. But I'm going to tell you, we've had a lot of situations man, where like we could have folded, right? But we've, all, we've always found a way to um, navigate and be better for it, right? Like, that's why, like, I'm an I'm observer, right? And I'm, I'm constantly trying to pass off knowledge to help somebody else. That's why the podcast is so important. <laughs>